Okay, welcome to my fourth video in the series, and this one's looking at um, genetic inheritance. So in the last video we were looking at how sex is inherited, and in this video we're going to look how um, different characteristics are inherited, um, particularly on this one, looking at um, whether your earlobes are attached or not. So on the diagram here you have a picture of a pair of chromosomes, and located on each, on these arrows here, this indicates two alleles. Now an allele is a version of a gene. And in this case, you have an uppercase E and a lowercase e. Now, an uppercase letter represents an allele which is dominant, and a lowercase letter represents an allele which is recessive. With the dominant allele, you only need one of those alleles for it to be expressed, whereas with the recessive allele, you need two of them. And because alleles usually come in pairs, um, you therefore, to have an attached E, you need to have small e, small e. Now this diagram here shows us somebody with an unattached earlobe and somebody with an attached. Now this individual A would have the following genotypes or could have the following genotypes. And essentially a genotype, all that is, is the genetic makeup of an organism or an individual. And so for the earlobe attachment gene he could have the following alleles. Big E, small E, small E, big E and big E, big E. Now like I said before, if it's dominant it only needs one of those alleles for it to be expressed and hence you only need in this case one here or one here. But in the case of B their genotype must be the only genotype they could possibly have is small e small e because for a recessive allele or a recessive gene to be expressed then you need two um, within your genotype so that is the only possible permutation so genotype that is essentially the genetic makeup of an organism and there's another word called phenotype and that's how that's expressed and in this case all that means is either you've got an unattached or an attached earlobe and that's your phenotype another another phenotype might be eye color or hair color so phenotype is how it's expressed Okay, so in summary, a gene um, codes for a characteristic. An allele is a version of a gene, and your alleles can either be dominant, which they're usually represented in letter form in uppercase, or they can be recessive, usually in lowercase. The alleles can be found in pairs, and so they're usually found one on each chromosome. And for the dominant allele, um, you only need one of those for it to be expressed. So in the case of attached earlobes or unattached earlobes, then you only need one of them to be present. So in this case, uppercase E. Whereas with the recessive allele, you need both there in order to be expressed. So small e, small e. Your genotype is the genetic makeup of an organism. So it's this code, so big E, small e, or small e, small e. And the phenotype is how it's expressed. In this example, you either have attached earlobes or unattached.